What's up guys, welcome to your 177th Android tutorial for the new boss in. And finally, we're going to see our triangle on our emulator. I know I've been telling you guys that a few times, but hopefully we'll be able to go through this tutorial pretty quickly so uh, we can see our triangle there. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up this method on surface change. Again, this is a renderer class. Um, and we need to set up the viewport. You know, we need to know how big our viewport needs to be. And that's why it passes in this width and this height. So we're going to reference those to create our viewport and all that good stuff. So again, we're going to refer to the GL10 object that's being passed in. And we're just going to say GL viewport. And it takes X and a Y and also a width and height. So our initial X is going to be 0. And our initial Y is going to be 0, which will be the bottom left corner of the emulator. And then it's going to go over to the width that we're getting passed in into the height. So that's basically going to set up, you know, everything that uh, we have available to us. Our whole, you know, activity screen is going to be full. Um, that's going to be our viewport. And then we're going to create a ratio of the width divided by the height. And I'll show you why we're going to need that. But it's going to be a float, and we're just going to call this ratio. Set this equal to um, float value, passing as a float, and then we're just going to say width divided by height. And so again, that's just the ratio of our width to our height because when our you know our device changes, we want to have the ratio the same whether it be you know uh, in portrait or in landscape mode. So that's what we're going to need this ratio for. And we're also going to set up uh, what what matrix mode we want, and we're just going to say GL GL uh, matrix mode, and we're going to set this equal to again GL10 object or GL10 class dot. Uh, GL underscore projection and you know that's just kind of the way that we want to view it we want it to be a projection of some sort and then when we uh, create this kind of a GL matrix mode all we need to do is we got to say GL GL load or identity um, we just need to say GL load identity and that's going to refer to kind of this method here and then just quickly we want to tell um, kind of give reference of how big our viewport is in three dimensions uh, because like let's say you know we don't want to load all of our objects so if we're like this close we want the square to load or a triangle I should say but you know if that goes far enough out of the screen um, we're just gonna not let that render so we're gonna save some performance so you know uh, we need to set like how far in the Z direction we want our object to be seen um, so uh, how we do that is we're going to say gl gl frustrum f as in float and what we're going to do is we're going to say for the left value we're going to say our negative ratio that we set up our right value our ratio our bottom we're going to say negative one for top value we're going to say uh, just for example 0.5 our near z is again the z direction how big we want that box to be that loads stuff within it so we're going to say uh, one this is going to basically be from the reference of where our camera's at. So it's going to be one is the starting point, and how far away from the camera is what we want the Z far to be. So we're going to set that to like 25. So if our camera gets you know 25 away, then it's going to not load it. And uh, we just have to say this is a float value here. And there we go. So basically, what this frustrum is doing is it's telling the left value, the right value, bottom and top all that good stuff and again the left value we're using the ratio because again if we switch from uh, landscape to portrait we want to kind of have that uh, that left and that right value the same according to which view we're in so that's why we set up that ratio as well and actually I, I'm sorry guys but uh, we'll finish this up in the next tutorial because I know it's getting kind of long and I just want to give you guys again a quick overview of what we've done within what we've done within this on surface change Again, we just set our viewport so, you know, basically our whole screen is going to be our viewport or our whole activity, I should say. Um, and again, it's starting with GL. Uh, the bottom left corner is the zero, 0 position. And uh, unlike when we did like the canvas drawing, which the top left corner was zero, 0. Um So keep that in mind when you're working with GL or open GL. Um, and then what we did is we set up a ratio to kind of handle what happens when we the person changes their phone from portrait to landscape and we're going to use this ratio later to define the frustrum which is going to be our basically our viewing area where it's going to load um, all of our 
uh, you know, shapes or triangles or whatever. And uh, if it goes out of this kind of box surrounding those triangles, uh, then it's not going to be able to, to see. Uh, well, we'll get into that later um, a little bit more in depth in the next tutorial when we actually see the triangle. I said we'd do it again in this tutorial, but, you know, um, that's probably going to be it for for now. So um, kept, watch the next tutorial, and I promise you guys we'll, we'll render it in there, and I'll catch you guys then. Have a good one.